I, I miss the wig. Today I travel to Catcliffe in Rotherham. I came here to Whitby's Fish and Chips. They are well renowned and I think they are in more places. And I came here, why? Because someone, actually I do work, he told me, look, every time I go and visit my family, we always go there or we take them as a takeaway and we have a ton because the fish and chips, they are really, really good. And that's why I'm here, as this after I stayed in Manchester for a couple of days as well. But uh, it didn't start it very well. Um, they didn't allow me to record inside, what is fine, but it's the way sometimes they do speak with you. I just don't like that. And this is the problem of these big places. You see, they are not very friendly, they are more mechanical. It's like they are working because they are working. It's like they are doing a favor. You see, I do like small takeaways, uh, because of the friendship they are very humble very approachable they uh, they they feel they have to please you and that's what i like and this place is the opposite it's like they will call to me so they are okay for me to record outside i can't go inside as you will see here actually i have done my order i'm gonna set my table and let's try the food i'm gonna be positive if even that it doesn't help because it's like it wasn't a good start will the food actually will be really good i do hope so let's go hey what's up guys welcome to mr week channel as you know, I do like to make videos about cars, motorcycles, caravans, my own life, challenge, food reviews. Really? Oh, are you kidding me? Please, no F words in my channel. Holy moly. So let's do this epic video. Stay tuned. I brought actually a, a starter. So they say, this is called white tail. As you can see, he's got some salad. So he's really nice, still hot, but it's really cool. I have the fish and chips here on the other side. Wow, actually, it's not too bad. I got mushy peas, curry sauce, and I think they put some, maybe, what is that, mayo for the white tail, I reckon. Yes, some mayo. I don't know if I will try. I didn't brought a drink. So altogether, this actually was 16 pounds 20. Couldn't record it inside, I would have done. And uh, I didn't brought the drink, but because I had several 7-Ups in my car, I'm gonna use it here with the meal. So let's start here with the... Um, I love the boxes, the decoration. I just, uh, I'm doing this food review, it doesn't feel right because the way they were, uh, they were not warm to you. And that is no good, let me to tell you, it's no good. And uh, I do like when somebody is more kind to you. They are here to make money, not to make friends, if you know what I mean. And I don't like that, so it wasn't a good start. Anyway, I'm going to uh, be positive. I do like seafood, by the way. When I travel to the mountains, it's in Grossop. That's what I think it's called. My goodness, it was so cold there. It was almost this half an hour ago. Uh, it was almost zero. But I arrive here, he says it's 12, maybe it feels more 10-ish because it's very windy. But I do look forward to try that. So let's see how good at least is the food. Let's dig in. Uh, this is where the white tail is to try with the mayo, but I'm not going to. It's nice because the sun is out. It's really nice, actually, apart from the wind.
is lovely. As you could see, actually, I did add all the salads. I do that, like my healthy stuff as well, but I don't eat big portions as I used to do in the past. This is lovely. What an amazing starter. Of course, that is a starter. I found a little expensive here up north. I would expect it slightly cheaper. I didn't try the, the Mayo, by the way. Yeah, I did expect it to be at least slightly cheaper. Let's start it. And I'm gonna start with the mushy peas. Some of the chips actually they are a little a little overburned in black as long as they taste nice but they are overcooked what is a shame actually that is a shame this is a strange mushy bee It just tastes completely different than any other mushy peas that I ever had. So I wonder what they put it on. Actually, it's not too bad, don't get me wrong, but it, it tastes different. Wow, some of them, they are really black. My goodness, overcooked, but I can still eat them, don't get me wrong, but I would prefer not to be overcooked. I can still eat them. Mm. It tastes completely different, but I still like it. It's funny. Actually, I do like it. I have to choose what chips I want, because some of them, they are quite burnt. <laughs> Oh my life. That is a strong flavor. Wow, overcooked. Can you see there, guys? Let's know if you can see, I can. What is a shame. to have some fish now oh well very crispy on the outside and more can stand always the inside Tell you what guys this is the thinnest fish that i ever had that is a little bit disappointing oh my goodness look how thin is that wow a little on a dry side ish mm. 
Hello. My grandson wants to know what you do. Hey, I'm a YouTuber. It says in a Cairo. Yeah, we said. That's yeah. And he says, I've not seen that one on YouTube. No, now you have to see. Because I make videos for adults, for children, so I try to please everyone. Ah. But I'm doing a, f a food review here. Oh. Do you like them? Yes, our favourite, yes. Is it? Yes, Good. definitely. And you, do you like fish and chips? Oh, scampi, nice. Uh -huh. If you try a white tail, that, that's what I think they call them. Nice, but oh, wow, my goodness. Stunning, it comes with a salad. Uh -huh. So that is really good, actually. Right. Yeah, okay. as a starter. I've, it's a little, I would say, it's a little expensive because apparently you have to pay the prices. They, they do this just for the restaurant, not for the takeaway. Right. So just because of that, you pay a little more. Well, it doesn't make sense, but hey, really good. Right. Go and enjoy, guys. You enjoy and yours. in two weeks, watch the, the video. We will, and we're going to go. Yeah, you can see yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll... See ya. See ya. So let's gonna review this food guys. I had the starter with the white tail and it came to actually with a salad, I didn't know that. And the good thing is they put balsamic vinegar, love that. So the starter actually I do, I do give 10 out of 10 just for that. The fish and chips actually was disappointed. I can't believe it. somebody actually works with me, comes here, his family, they come here. He start to be busy, as I can see more cars, they are arriving. Um, well, what a disappointment. I never saw such a, such a thin piece of cod. It was re really thin. I think it was a little overcooked. It was a little on a dry side as well, so that was a shame. The mushy peas, actually, I did like it, but it didn't taste 100% of mushy peas. What I found it really strange. Still enjoy it. The curry sauce was okay, very strong actually, but I do like it, it wasn't a problem. I didn't try the mayo, as you saw, it was for the starter, and I was fine. So I was fine with that. With all the experience, I'm a little disappointed, guys. I'm a little disappointed. These guys actually, they did disappoint me. This is the problem of big places, isn't They don't have that friendly approach to you, your warmth. All they want is just the money, they don't care. Pay, you order, and that's it, off you go. But I don't like like that. For me, it's important that they speak with you in a nice manner. They make you feel welcome here. They didn't want me inside to record, but okay, I can accept that. It's not because of that. So, but for me, it's everything. I don't care if you agree or not. That is the way I like. We all like different things, or we all like to do other different things, but I like in a way they do make me feel at least welcome. So the food was 50-50. The starter was incredible, 10 out of 10, but I, I would give just six for the food. So in general, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give actually, with all the experience, I think I'm gonna give seven, seven and a half, no more. A little disappointed with, with me. Would I come here? and perhaps come here to eat, no. But I would come here actually to eat perhaps the, the starter, but just because of that, perhaps I wouldn't come. Even I love the people and I love the people in the north. But there you go, I'm happy that I came, at least I try, and another food review that I made. What did you think? Have you tried wheat peas? I know they are in Rochdale as well. Have you tried there? I'm not going to there uh, because I have tried now here. So, and I don't know actually if they are exactly the same. So, a little disappointed, but nevertheless, I still enjoy some parts of the meal, and that for me was the main thing. The salad blow me away with the balsamic vinegar. Shakalalulu. Stay tuned for another 10 years of Mr. Wiggs videos, guys. You are all awesome. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.